Dear viewers, welcome to Side Mira SSB. My name is Atim Sujen, and today is the 1st of January 2022. And uh, I'm in South Sudan, Juba, and I would like to highlight some few things about the past year and also how, <coughs> how we receive the new year and how does it really translate to our you know, focus in the coming year, like we're in 2022 right now. So I would like to say some few things about that. And uh, please, if you have not sub subscribed to our channel, please go down below and subscribe to Side Mira SSD, uh, your only platform where you can get to know about the trending issues in South Sudan, whether it is musically, whether it is about youth activities. This is a platform where we are able to interact with a lot of youth and try to learn from each other, try to, you know, to amplify the testimonies of success and try to at least showcase what South Sudanese can do. You know, we've been known for very bad things, we've been known for conflict, we've been known for killing ourselves. But there are so many good things that South Sudanese are doing, not only in South Sudan, but even across the globe. So it's high time for us to showcase the other part of South Sudan that nobody knows outside there. And it's the work of local media to, you know, to, to showcase what South Sudan, you know, does apart from conflict and other unnecessary things that might tarnish the image of the country. I'm not saying that we're doing good in terms of other things, but... Uh, I'm not uh, happy with how we focus so much on the negative part of what is happening in the country. So for that matter, I will be pushing hard to make sure at least we show the content, the other part of South Sudan that nobody knows outside there. I'm very sure there are people that are so keen to know South Sudan not only as a, a war-affected country, but also a very gifted country with a lot of talents, with a lot of resources, and with a lot of good people, with hospitable communities, and so forth. And trust me, you, that people that have come to South Sudan from different countries across the globe, and they can testify that South Sudanese are very hospitable people, they're very friendly, and they're loving people. So that's what we want to portray here. So please don't mind to click down on the subscription button and, you know, follow us. And we also have a, a Facebook page with the same name as uh, Side Mira SSD. And thank you. So to begin with, you know, most of us, when the year is coming to an end, we tend to curse the outgoing year and, you know, embracing the blessings that we don't know, we have not seen, we have not witnessed with the coming year. What I want to say there is very simple. I believe, you know, every year has its good and bad part. And trust me, there is no good year. I can tell you that. And uh, I've lived my life for the last 34 years. I'm 34 years old now. And uh, except the young days when I was very young that what I just want is to be bought a Christmas cloth and, you know, go around during Christmas. And it was a very happy moment for young kids who would not care about paying rent or other things or no responsibilities. It was great. But if you have come of age, then you will realize that there's no good year because every year has its own challenges. Every year has its own difficulties. Every year has its own achievement. And if you are someone who have really, you know, experienced a lot of achievements in life, you would know that every achievement comes with its challenges. There's no achievement that comes as a pure achievement without any complications. At some point, the more you achieve a lot of things, the more challenges you face. So what I'm trying to say there is that uh, at some point, as we try to be excited in getting into a new year, let's always try to thank and, you know, recognize the fact that the year that we, we passed, it was by the grace of God that we managed to do that. And uh, there are people that I've not seen today. And there are a lot of people that were wishing to at least celebrate the day with us. But God said no. So don't you think it's an, it's an achievement, the fact that you're still here and you're still breathing and you're still talking about, you know, you know, hoping to have a great year in 2022. That by itself is a great achievement because not everyone has it. Not everyone got a chance to be where we are today. So I've, I have families that I've lost in this period. I, <clears throat> I have friends that I've, I've lost. And uh, it was not their will, but it was God's will. So if I see someone cursing, you know, 2021 or any year before, it, it makes me feel like, you know, what is wrong? It gives me a lot of goosebumps because it's, I'm not used to seeing, you know, such kind of situation where you can't appreciate the fact that you came from somewhere. That is, that's not what we can do as South Sudanese. And, okay, as people across the globe. Why am I saying so? There are so many 
you know, challenges of course, uh, started with COVID-19 situation in the country and across the, the globe, all over the world. But even before COVID-19, there were challenges. Every year comes with its challenges. And uh, we need to just try to, the, the best part of getting into a new year is not to cast the previous year, but it's to try and, you know, reflect. Is to, you know, do some auditing about yourself. The last year, what did you do? In the last year, how did you do some things better? What did you do wrong? And in this coming year, how do you learn from the experience to improve? If you have to do something better, what do you need to learn from the previous experience? So that is how it's supposed to be. I'm not saying that uh, every year has to come with a lot of challenges, but of course, every year is a learning. It's an experience. Even 2022, don't be surprised by the end of it. You will still feel like some things did not go right. We didn't do some things in the right way. But still, the only challenge is that we don't learn from our mistakes. We don't learn from our experience. Like at some point, if you could not put together your review or flashback to understand exactly all the year what did you do you know that that's self accountability if you don't do it then no matter how good a year can be to you it will be of no sense because you don't learn from it and as, as human beings we need to learn as we live our life we need to be able to know exactly where we're heading to and we need to recognize or to notice what are the changes that happens as we try to achieve our goals and what are the achievements that we have so far reached and those achievements how could we do them differently to reach more or challenges that we have faced that we felt if we would have done them differently we could have been somewhere by now this is how it is and i'm very sure that people that have changed their lives through experience and there's a saying that that goes you know those who don't learn from their mistakes will never succeed if you fail today it's not a failure it's a lesson every step of failure is a lesson to a wise person but every failure is a complete curse to someone who is not able to accept. First of all, you must accept that failure is normal. And you know, sometimes we, we, we tend to ignore the fact that we've done some things wrongly. And of course, if we have to do them again, we can change. Some people will be defensive not to accept that. You know, the failure that they have encountered was through their making. They will defend their decisions. They will defend their instinct. They will defend their way of doing things, and from, from that attitude, you're not able to learn on how to do things better. So, all my South Sudanese outside there, I'm shouting out to you, tonight, tomorrow, sit down and evaluate yourself. Look at yourself, look at the things that you could have done differently, if you are given a chance again. And look at how you can reach a milestone. You know, like we said, a child will start scrolling, you know, from scrolling, they'll start waking up or not standing. From standing, they'll take a step. But in that process, they will still be falling. Or, you know, there will be challenges until they start walking, until they start running. It's a process, and that needs commitment. So I, I don't want to have a lot of conversation or a lot of, you know, discussion. It's a new year, and I'm, I'm delighted. I'm very happy. I thank uh, my God. I thank, you know, the people that I've encountered within this year. And I'm hoping that, you know, I want to say that 2021 was a great year. I've learned a lot of lessons. You know, I've had a lot of experience. I've, have, I've had challenges. I have failed at some point. But as I'm moving to 2022, I will evaluate myself to see how best I can live 2022, you know, in comparison with 2021. Not that 2021 was a bad year, but just that I had some experiences. I, have some, I had some learnings from 2021 that I'll carry forward with me to 2022 and use them to improve my way of doing things and, you know, my projects. Because I'm very sure at this age, most of us outside there have plans in life. Some of your plans might not work immediately, might take even 10 years from now. But every year, at least you try to pursue your dreams. And, you know, when a year ends, you, you pick up from where you stopped and you, you keep going. And that's what we call, you know, pursuing a dream. So some of us are doing that. I'm one of them. I'm pursuing some dreams. Some of them, of course, could not work the way I want within my timeline. But that, that obstacles or delay men to achieve my dreams is a lesson by itself. And uh, it means that I have to do something differently next year. And it's not a guarantee that next year I will achieve all my dreams. But still, you know, no matter how long it takes, I will always at least learn from each and every step I've taken to make sure I improve the next move that I might do to achieve my dreams. 
Thank you so much. I was surprised today that we still call our time Michael McQuenwell time. You know, I was just walking into the compound and someone was like, Happy New Year. I'm like, no, we still have like half an hour. And they were like, no, 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 it was not like that. I said, no, our time is not like that. It's not like East African time. Of course, we have families in East Africa. Most of us live in East Africa. But don't you think that we have to go by the laws of the country? If we have said that our new time is, you know, is plus two instead of plus three, that means we are one hour late to celebrate our independence. Our, our sorry, our, our new year. And uh, some of us could not even, I'm very sure some of my friends, some of my family members, they still use their uh, the, the old East African time in their clocks and even in their appointments. And people refer to our new time as McQueen that time. Makwe is our Minister of Information and Telecommunication. So Makwe does not dictate the time. It was a, a, uni, a unified decision by the government to say, when we came to South Sudan, Southern Sudan by then, we used to you know, have the Sudan time, but after our independence, for some unknown reasons, we shifted our time to East African time. So, but now we are back to our you know, time, and it is plus two. And uh, that's how it is. So we also need to learn, you know, to time ourselves based on our, you know, let's go with the regulations that are within. Because if you still work with that time, it might even affect your business. It might affect your, your, your meetings. It might affect how you plan yourself. So like when I was coming in, I knew I have 30 minutes to celebrate the new year. But of course, my friends were like, no, 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 it's already new year. I'm like, no, it's not new year. Because we have to go by the law. And... Uh, I know some will argue that, okay, this was not passed in the parliament and so forth, but it, it is what it is. So, whatsoever the case, we believe that is our time. <laughs> so, it's hard to believe, but sometimes we need to just adapt to it. So, Happy New Year to all our South Sudanese, wherever they are. And I know some of you in Australia had celebrated our, your, your New Year earlier before us, and vice versa. So, but I'm shouting out to all South Sudanese, thank God that we have reached this far. And for those who have you no know, who didn't make it, we pray for their souls and we still know that there's COVID nineteen. Let's do our best and let's let's protect our loved ones, especially the elderly people. And let's make sure at least this year, you know, we start with energy, you know, learn from the previous year, do the best, you know. The only good teacher is experience. You know, people learn through experience, not through classes. You can go to school but when you come out of school you will be you will be faced by a lot of experience lot of challenges and every challenge that you've gone through is a lesson to you so let's learn let's improve and let's do the best i hope everyone will have a very marvelous wonderful year 2022 may god bless you all i'm a tip surgeon and i'm the host for south sudan side mirror uh, it's a youtube channel that we use to you know to create content on south sudan and also the most trending issues in the country so just if you have not uh, subscribed to our channel, please do that. And we'll be coming here with musicians, comedians, talking about them. It's a platform where we can express ourselves as South Sudanese from different backgrounds, from different walks of life, you know, from different talents, and we try to discuss and amplify the work that we do. Let's try to expose our positivity. Let's show the world that South Sudan can be known for other good things. I'm very proud of our basketball team, national team, doing great. I'm proud of Golding, he's doing a great job. I'm proud of Dynamic, the Sudanese child, the River Nile Crocodile, is doing a great job. I'm proud of Lady Kola with the controversies and all that, she's doing great. And I'm proud of each and every, every person that I've not mentioned here who's doing great in his or her own small ways. You know, everything we do contributes to the, the bigger picture of South Sudan. So let's keep doing what we do and celebrate the new year in peace and take care. God bless you.